Kisumu City, a port city in western Kenya, home to about 400,000 people and the third largest city in Kenya. It is the largest city in Nyanza region and the second most important city after Kampala in the Greater Lake Victoria Basin. Kisumu is the immediate former capital of Nyanza province and the headquarters of Kisumu County. Situated on Lake Victoria, it developed due to its strategic location as an internal port and a railway terminus. The port was founded in 1901 as the main inland terminal of the Ugandan Railway. Kisumu City has developed progressively from a railway terminus and internal port in 1901 to becoming the leading commercial, trading, industrial, communication and administrative centre owing to its name Sumo. Kisumu literally means a place of barter trade. Despite its rich resource base, Kisumu is still one of the poorest cities in Kenya. The scale at which informal settlement expansion is occurring in flood-prone areas appears to be very rapid and a significant urban planning challenge. Ndiyo. <laughs> Kisumu City Council is nevertheless very keen to develop an overall strategic plan and to develop a city-wide disaster risk reduction network to undertake coordinated and informed prevention-related activities. I City Kisumu has signed up for the resilience campaign. As a result, we are working on a strategic plan that is aimed at mainstreaming disaster reduction strategy and we wish to partner with various cities who might believe are also facing similar challenges. Our country is going in a devolved way for the first time, thereby giving opportunity for the local government administration to embrace disaster risk. Although Kisumu has tried to address many of the 10 points checklists for making cities resilient, funding and to a lesser extent skills and knowledge are significant issues for them in terms of improving their disaster risk reduction plans and activities. The city's disaster-related organizations and council do, however, have experience and local informal knowledge of disaster issues and response efforts. The